Welcome to a new video from Excel Data Analysis Series PT for Pivot Tables. Video PT09, we are going to talk about pivot tables that are based on Power Query. In this video, we are going to see how we can work with 3 million plus records in Excel. So, we'll not be limited to the million record in the normal Excel sheet. And also, we are going to see how we can load those records from CSV file directly to Power Query. Then, from this Power Query, we are going to load the data into a pivot table and create a sales report. And finally, using the Power Query, even after creating the report, we are going to categorize our data using lookup tables. And then, we are going to update all changes directly and automatically to the pivot table. If you want to follow along while watching the video, or even if you want to practice after watching the video, please go down in the description section. You will find the link. Please use it to download the Excel file and also use the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified with the new videos. Before jumping into Excel to start our exercise today, let's have a look at the CSV file that we are going to load to the Power Query. As you can see here in this folder, we have the sales 2016-2018. It contains 3 million records. And if you look at the size of the file, it's 126 megabytes. I already opened the CSV file in a notepad and you can see here in the counter of the lines we have 3,145,000 lines meaning that we are going to push more than 3 million records inside Excel. So let's start our exercise and we are going to use an empty Excel sheet. Why? Because we are going to load the data from an external source using Power Query. In Office 365, you will find Power Query in the data ribbon. On the left hand side, you will find a section called Get and Transform. And to load from a CSV file, there are shortcut we can find here from text or CSV. Or we can go to Get Data and select the small arrow down here. And then from file, from text or CSV, it will open the browser in order to ask you where you stored your file. In this folder, I have only one CSV file I'm going to select and then I'm going to select import. It will open a navigation window. From the navigation window, you can preview a sample of your data. And we have three options that we can use here. First one is cancel. I will not use this at the moment. And then we have load. And I will not use this as well because always I want to transform data. And once I click on transform data, it will open the Power Query Editor. Now I have the Power Query Editor launched. And before continue working, let's have a quick overview on the Power Query Editor. On the right hand side, you will see the query settings. The upper part of it is the name of the query and it is inherited from the name of the file. I can edit or I can change. And then in the below side, you'll see the applied steps. From here, you can automate your work. You can uh, go back and undo any step that you don't want. And you can edit any step of those steps. And you can see the Excel already created automatically three steps, which is source, which is just getting the data from the source and then promote header and then change type, which is just trying to get the right uh, data type for each column. Like what we can see here, sales uh, rep ID is one to three, meaning that it is numbers and something like the dates. You can see the calendar icon here, meaning that uh, Excel detected its dates, the discount percent. You can see Excel detect it is percentage. So the three steps here is uh, automatically uh, produced and I can go back and edit or even using this red cross I can just delete on the left hand side if you expand here you can see a list of all your queries for the time being we have only one query so we have only one item in this section and in the above uh, section of the uh, query editor you, you will see four menus first one is home then transform add column and view. We are not going to talk about each one of them for the moment. However, we are going to use some options later and we'll talk about those options while working on them. And finally, in the middle, you can see your data, a preview of your data. However, the rest of the data 
is stored in the CSV file and it was mentioned that this data is not the real data it's just a connection to the data meaning that any change we are going to do here will not impact or affect the CSV file the original data it's just a read only version of the data we can do all the changes all the steps without any impact on the original data I will not do any changes to the data for the moment uh, the three steps done already by Excel is enough for me and now my data is ready to load to the Excel so from home ribbon there is a button on the left hand side called close and load if I use this button directly it will load the data to an Excel table however we I have here more than 3 million records so the Excel table will not be enough to absorb all the data so what I can do is from the same button I can use the small arrow down here and instead of selecting close and load I'm going to select close and load to once I press on this it will open a small dialog box asking you where exactly you want to load your data in the import data dialog box you select pivot table and then click on ok once I click on ok two things will happen a new window will open called queries and connection and this will tell you that you have a new query and you can see the rows of the CSV file is now counting it will continue count up to the three million record and then a pivot table will be created now the three million records loaded and the pivot table is created and first step i'm going to give a name and let's start to build our report i'll start by dropping the date in the rows so automatically the dates will be grouped together now i have in the rows years quarters and date which is the month i don't need the quarters i'll take it out and let me put the years in the columns and let's start to put some values i'll take the sold quantity so i'm going to select quantity and drop it in the value right click and quick number formatting can you believe this three million records summarized inside excel in a small pivot table a monthly report by year let's do another report i will select the entire pivot table Control c to copy going down Control v to paste i have a new pivot table as well that's very easy i can take out the dates and let's try to take something like the product name i have here only the product id let's try it i'll drop it in the rows oh as you can see here i have all the products the 25 products however it is with codes i don't have the names if you go to the other sheet the lookup tables i have here a lookup table to categorize our data by the product name and also by category i have the product id the product name and the category so i can use this information to categorize this however i'm going to use also the power query to do this categorization so before doing this i need to convert this uh, set of data into an excel table so while selecting any cell inside the data set i'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control t it will open this small dialog box click on ok and then i'm going to give a name from the table design ribbon on the left hand side let's call it product categories and while selecting any cell inside the table i'm going to data ribbon and again from the get and transform section i can use this one to directly send this data into the power query editor the power query editor launched again and you can see in the query settings the name of the table inherited here i have the same name of the table and i have also two applied steps one is the source and the other one is the changing of the types as you can see it detects that product id is numbers however product and category is text and if i expand the pane on the left hand side you will find that i have now two queries so what i want to do now is i want to use that this categories and put it inside the actual table here or the fact table and i want to use the product id as a matching key between the two tables so what i will do now is while selecting the sales 2016 2018 i'm going to home ribbon and from home ribbon i'm going to combine section and from combine section i'm going to use merge queries once i click on merge queries it will open a dialog box divided into two sections in the upper section i will see the active query sales 2016 and 2018 and in the downside of the dialog box will ask you 
which query you want to merge with I have only two queries so I'm going to merge this one with the other one I'm going to use the drop down I'm going to use product categories and you can see here a preview of the data for the two tables now available and as agreed I want to use the product ID as a matching key between the two tables so I'm going to select it from the uh, sales 2016-2018 and also I'm going to select it from uh, product categories and you can see it will have like something like this green color and if you look down here it's writing estimating matches based on data previews meaning that now power query is looking into this id and trying to find a match in this table for each product id it is pretty much similar to what we have in the vlookup function in excel once it finished i can just click on ok and look what will happen a new column will be added called product categories and in the right hand side a new applied step called merged queries but this is not exactly what i want i want the data from this table uh, if i click on any cell just on the right not on the table itself in the empty area here on the right you can see here the entire match came from the other table meaning that for the second line that i have it gets the complete record from the other table uh, product id 2018 gloves and clothing if you check another one like the third line it will find the same the product id is 2016 so it matches the record that we have here 2016 caps and clothing and so on and so forth but this is not exactly what i want i want this data just the product and the category to be listed here beside each and every uh, product id this is not a problem at all using these two uh, arrows on the header of the column i'm going to just select and don't forget to uncheck use original column name as prefix i need only the category and the product so i'm going to uncheck the product id and click on ok two columns will be created with the data that i want now my query is ready i'm going to use the same button close and load to it will open the same dialog box but this time this table i don't want to use i want to just leave it in the background so i'm going to select only create a connection meaning that this table will not be loaded anywhere it will just remain in the background so i'm going to select ok it took some time but now the three million records already loaded i can go back to the sheet containing the pivot table and if i check the pivot table i can find now two new fields one called category and the other called product and now i want to use the product name and the category so i'm going to select the product id and just um, remove it from the rows then i'm going to take the category drop it in the rows and you can see now i have the report summarized by the categories i can take the product id and drop it below the categories then i will have my report completed by category and then by product now i have two reports one monthly and yearly report the other one yearly by category and you can see i managed to work with three million records inside the power query very easy and very quick that was all for today hope that was useful for you thank you very much for your time and see you in next videos and bye